All right. <laughs> hey guys, we have been thinking about it and we're just like, how could we make this even better for you guys? Because we are, we just want to give back. That's the, that's our main thing, honestly, in Born and Raised is giving back to you guys. That's why the Go Hunt guys came and gave us the information that we could pass along to you guys. And um, how better than, you can win my bow. I thought you were going to pull dry fire. Gee, dry fire. I thought that's where he was going. <laughs> you can win I'm not dry that fire. tough. I'm not that tough. I cannot draw a bow like this. Um, anyway, here is my personal bow. I will give this. I will. You can win this. How about that? Win this for if you put in. Trevor, you said you had it all figured out. That's. Oh. That's the bow that killed Trent's first ever first ever six point, point bowl. first ever six point bowl from the Land of the Free series. Yes, this is the exact bow right here. So it is a huh, carbon defiant thirty four. <laughs> I'm not a tech guy. I'm not a tech guy. It sounded out. I am not a tech guy. It's got a spot hog sight on it. Uh, adjustable uh, adjustable pin sight. Tell me how Probably not the right deal either, and um, it's got the uh, tight spot quiver. Got that right. Nice work. And the uh, drop away arrest. Just arrest. <laughs> just, just, just arrest. Just arrest. <laughs> all right. So it's got all that. It's so, got all that on it, and the limb saving machines on the end. And it's pink. They're pink. And it's pink. And yes, that's that, my daughter's favorite colors favorite color. are pink and purple, and I let her pick out the colors of my bow every single year, and this is what she picks. They're so always pink and purple. They always will always pink. probably always. be. She, uh, yeah. She picked pink again this year. I think she picked pink again this year. She <laughs> so, did. Yep. Yes, she did. Sure. So anyway, this is awesome. I love this bow, guys. It shot so well for me. Um, anyway, and I want someone to have this. So anybody who puts in for the insider from Go Hunt gets a free ticket to win this bow. And we're gonna run this promo for... So, you join Insider at GoHunt.com, use the promo code BRO, and if you join between now and April 15th, you will select for the one lucky winner to win Trent's bow. Yep. Sweet. Nice. I'm super excited. <laughs> I am excited. Not to give it away because I really don't have another bow. But at the same time, it may be September before I shoot again. But at the same time, I am jacked for someone to win this. So, uh, guys, please put in for this. And it, it, it's a win win, honestly. It is a win win. Uh, Go Hunt, they have a. It's well, so awesome. All the technology that they put in and all the time that they've put into it and all you have to do is click here and there and you can figure out you just click a couple buttons and yeah just tell yeah you just a click, little here little there click the next machine thing you, know, you have a, a secret honey it brings it right up for calculating you. <laughs> it's amazing so all right guys here you go you can win this you can have this all of it just minus the arrows because i don't know if you can send those in the mail but i'm sure you can yeah we're sending the arrows with so with the broadheads yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't, is there broad? <laughs> I think you still have broadheads. Um, pretty on. sure. Anyway. Yeah, he shoots daily. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I shoot a lot. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, looking into this go hunt thing and. And thanks okay. for following That's along with all yeah. of our series that we've we put together for you guys, and uh, we got a lot more coming your way, more giveaways uh, for you guys because you guys are our lifeblood. So um, we really, really appreciate all of your guys' support over this last year and uh, we're going to keep it coming. And if you haven't yet, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along. Like I said, we've, we've got more videos coming on a daily basis. When we can, there might be some gaps, but we'll be here. We'll keep Born it coming. YouTube channel. So, Brady, what are you going to teach me today? We're going to dive into Colorado, the uh, elk mecca of the West. Ooh. Hands down the most, highest population. Highest today. population. Do you happen to know the highest population of elk in it's Colorado? Putting you on the spot right now. Was it 428,000? You heard it here first, guys. 428, there you go. Guys, we get a lot of questions about, I am new to hunting, and I'm from the East Coast, I'm from XYZ, and I want to try it for the first time. Maybe I've rifle hunted, um, and I want to pick up a bow for the first time, or maybe I used to hunt, and it's been 10 years, and I want to try it. So we want to dive into Colorado for you guys and just say, for example, if you're in that position, maybe it's your first year ever hunting, let's take away the fears of, of diving into a new state. And that's where Brady with Go Hunt comes in. Chris, yeah. first-hand account, right? First-hand account. From Iowa, from the Midwest. So I understand, you know, you can be intimidated going out west. But like, after being with Go Hunt and using this, 
it's answered so many questions that I maybe wouldn't have known if I didn't have Insider. So that's what I've come to realize by using Insider all the time, every single day at work. I did the same thing when I, I got lucky in June, New Mexico two years ago. I uh, had never stepped foot in there. I was pretty nervous about going in there. Picked up Go Hunt. That's how I came to find Go Hunt and kind of get accustomed with what they can do. I was able to see, you know, when I wanted to go in there based on weather patterns, rainfall, because there's flooding that comes in New Mexico a lot. So I utilized them for, to see what the rainfall patterns were. I was able to see the bull to cow ratio in the unit. A lot of different things I was able to pick up after I drew even. This has been a huge tool for us. Let's dive into Colorado. The great thing is too about like the whole insider, what's gonna help you with. A lot of guys feel like elk hunting, you need a ton of points to go. Like everyone's like, oh, you need five points to go hunting. You need to build up points for all these years to go. Like Colorado's one of those states over the country hunt every single year. And we're gonna show you the opportunities to get over that learning curve like you just said. All about so the opportunity. So we, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities. So we yeah, just had a question on Instagram, a DM saying, "How are you guys getting your Colorado tags?" And you go like, and pick well, them I up. said, uh, "I would just go to like a Walmart, maybe." <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Hit that up. OTC <laughs> over the counter. Yeah. Yep. So we'll dive into some of those right now. So we're on uh, inside, and we're jumping into filtering 2.0 Colorado elk. We're now going to populate all the elk units in Colorado. So we're going to show you the whole state. So mess to try to figure out, okay, where am I going to hunt in all these units? There's so many of them right now. Yeah. But we're just going to want to find, okay, we're just going to go OTC um, for archery. But we also can select, if you're a guy who wants, you know, other options, there's also over-the-counter second season rifle and also over-the-counter third season rifle. So guys, a rifle hunter, you have over-the-counter options in Colorado to hunt every single year. That should be the, Learn the unit. The Orange Army, right? The Orange Army, yes. Yep. So Sweet. there's a lot of options you can filter out. But we're just going to go Archery over the counter. So boom, now you'll see it eliminated a bunch of the units. Basically in the whole Central Park. <laughs> yep. And I think I, I can tell people too right away is this line right down the middle. Yeah. All this stuff east is gonna be, it's still over the counter, but it's limited opportunity. You're dealing with Eastern Plains, so it's a lot of private land. Okay. And so you just wanna kind of focus on all the Western side. Gotcha, from okay. the front. Yep. Okay. And then right away you can just say, okay, what do I want to, what I want to experience in Colorado. Are you concerned with trophy potential? Are you concerned with harvest success? You just want to have opportunity. So I would a lot of guys, say public land. Public land. It's easy to do. So we have a public land filter. You can filter out all these units by the percentage of public land. Okay. So easily. You take the slider, jump it around. So that's why I got rid of all that eastern plains right now. Like the majority gotcha. of it is gone. So that's a lot of private land. I didn't wow. realize there was elk out there in the plains. Oh, Who cares about them? There's not enough public <laughs> land. Not enough yeah. public land. Yep. So you can take it up even further. Boom, now you just eliminated, now we have 73 units compared to whatever it was before, 100. And that has like to be that. at least 35% of each of the units yep. are public land. 35% we're, public land. We're down to 73 unit. units have at least 35%. And yep. the cool thing, Colorado, you can hunt wilderness, unlike Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Same with Oregon. Uh, Wyoming's the only state that you cannot hunt in the wilderness as a non-resident without a guide or an outfitter or a resident. So mm -hmm. just keep that aware. So, so then you can jump right in. If it, you want a lot of public land. We're just going to keep it at, let's just bump it up a little higher. Let's, the power let's go to 50%. Ooh, even 50. Even Aren't 50, sorry, 58 units. To re now we still, there's still a ton of research that you need to do, like 53, 58 units is a lot to digest. Like where do I want to hunt now still? Well, we can help narrow it down a little bit further for a guy who, okay. you know, is from the East Coast, wants to come out here. Let's say which unit has at least a 20% harvest success. Yep, so right now down the bottom, we have the harvest success filter, and this is a very powerful tool. So we can go, 20%? Oh. I said 20, not 25. You got a little 25. You're, you're, you're go, you get a little too high yeah. for the over the counter. So at least we can go 15, and 15%. now we have we have five units in Colorado that have 15% or better. You guys, have a success. if you're wanting to bow hunt for the first time, just so you know, bow hunting is hard. That's why that. There uh, you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say that Colorado, in my experience, does have the highest density of hunters. In the state. There are a lot, a lot yeah. of hunters. It can be so, super overwhelming when you pull up to a trailhead and there's like 15 or 20, not just trucks or rigs. There's like horse trailers, <laughs> and then you're like, that's a multiplier. 31 to count exactly this year. 31 for last year. We went that, somewhere else. <laughs> not gonna lie. That could be a little bit disheartening. That's a great part. You can hunt any. You have to pick a unit. You can go. Well. Up what was it 2014 we hunted it and literally went into a spot where we'd hunted in the past had a different experience we left after five days six days drove all night 
like ten, part of the next ten day, hours, ten hours, and hunted a brand new area and killed two bulls in three days. That's the beauty of Colorado. It was like that's the beauty of over the counter public lands. One hundred percent. It's like the beauty yeah. of Colorado. Yep. yep. So I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit more to get a little more results to show the power of everything, all the tools. So okay. Now you have your 50% public land, your 10% better harvest success. And archery over the counter. Archery over the counter. But now it's like, okay, well, we still have 24 results. We can kind of you know, narrow that down a little bit further for you. So the great tool I like to jump into is we all see the data here. You have the trophy potential for guys who might be concerned with that. We just have it. We are not. Right now of any. So any units can just pop up. We also show you the bull cow ratio of every single unit, which is a great thing to look at because a higher bull cow ratio, higher chance of finding a bull, great thing. And we show you the amount of public land and also the harvest success. So a lot of times you look at these units, you'll be like harvest success 13% with a down arrow. So right there, it's meaning it's trending downward. So there might be maybe more guys are hunting in OTC, so the harvest success is getting more difficult. I see. So you can look at that there. But you can jump up here to this default tab, and that's going to sort. So now you can sort by trophy potential, sort by um, bull cow ratio, so oh, harvest success. Hold on, you went a little quick land. there. Let's slow yeah, down, Brady. Jeez, oh, guys, oh, we're going to have to like put this in half play or something. Huh. If you want to narrow this down from 24 units a little bit more, you're going to scroll up to the top again yep. where it says the state that you're checking into and there's a default window ready to go. Yep, this is the sort area. So we're going to sort it right now by bull cow ratio, which is one of my favorite things to sort by. Why is it your favorite? One of your favorites? Because I just like to find more opportunity and I don't want to hunt a unit that might have, you know, 10 to 100 bull cow ratio because you have less chance of finding bulls. You, you, okay. You know, Dude, that's rad. 36 to 100. And we were looking at what Oregon earlier. Remember, it was like nine, nine, nine to 100, 100 in a bunch of units. Interesting. So that's why right, right, right away, I'm like, this is this is a standout unit to me right now. You guys should come to hours. Oregon. It's really, really fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we have them resorted from the highest bull cow ratio down to the lowest, still meeting our 50 percent. At the top, we see we're at 50 percent public land filter, 10 percent harvest success. Shows all of your filters. Yep. So we're narrowing it down right now really fast. And you can even go further. You can slide that, those filters out for more public land, more harvest success. So does it say anything about terrain? Yep. Or? That's the great part now. Because hey, you have all those, but what's in that unit? Yeah, you been there what before. am I getting myself into? Yep. So we're just click the toppers out here, unit 181. And this jumps into what we call the unit profile. So it basically gives you a snapshot of what you're going to expect in that unit from access terrain vegetation you know some camping lodging suggestions everything you might want to know and you've never stepped foot in there let's talk about terrain how do we figure terrain. that out so great thing is right on this unit so we're at color unit 181 we have right down here we have photos so these are terrain photos that are taken in this unit itself so it gives Sweet. you a great idea of what you might experience because guys are like Hey, I love the glass. I want, you know, open sagebrush glass with a little bit of acid patches. You so you have boots on, those, on the ground photos. Boots on the ground photos. So you can say, okay, is this something that might be getting The aspens. That was always the dream, like going to Colorado was to kill a bull in the aspens. Yes. Yep. Still hasn't happened. Never happened. Well, kind of. Mm, it's trans bulls. Yeah, trans bull in the aspens. Okay. So also show the elevation. So a lot Sweet. of it is, you know, like, hey, do I need to get in shape for this hunt? Do I need to, yes, you, you know, do. what to figure out? This one you might want to get in shape. 11,000. 11, 11, yeah. 11.3? Yep. Pretty legit. Yep. That's at the peak though. I mean. A com common question that people ask is like, what elevation do you guys hunt? Like target to hunt in Colorado? 8 to 10,000. Yeah. And I don't know that it's like we generally targeted that elevation. It's just where we hunted at and that was the elevation range. But I know there's a lot of guys that hunt them above Timberline too in Colorado. So Yeah. We saw a bunch of bulls above Timberline when I was there. It really. depends on time of year. It's another great thing, we have moon phases. So right here, you can easily plan when you might want to go on your OTC. Outcome. We can jump over to- Based on the moon phase in September? September, so now we can see September. So you see all the data, illumination, when sunrise, when sun sets, for all the dates. So, question. If you go to Colorado, do you have to have your tag before you go to Colorado? You can pick it up. In Colorado, easy to go. Same day. Gas station, whatever place sells yep. a license. So, SPAC on Land of the Free, he bought his tag and 24 hours later, he killed his bull. It's a great thing about Colorado. It's rad. You gotta make sure that you have your hunter safety card with you, though. Colorado. Yeah, you have to have yes. that. Yes. That is a gotta good thing. Gotta have your hunter safety card with you. be a real game changer. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, Bureau promo code. Oh, yeah. Do you, um, know, do you know the whole pitch? Guys, Jeepers. Of course you do. Shut them up. You've murdered it before. I may, it's have, not $50 I, I may have come in late, but I got this. So guys, if you guys are interested in checking out uh, the Go Hunt opportunity for finding a tag that'll work for you guys, 
There is a special promo code BRO that you can enter in. It will get you a $50 credit towards the Go Hunt store. What does the store have? Everything you need for your backcountry hunter, guy who just wants to go out for the weekend, from backpacks, trekking poles, mountain house, headlamps, all these curated gear items that we use and trust yep. that we just want to give guys back. You guys go through and handpick these hand items, right? items. So not like the typical stuff you might find in some stores, either like legit items that you could use from lower for price ranges to high price ranges, but those are still in very, very quality arm. Like, I like the destruction test you guys have been doing. Like, we take our, like the gear we sell, we're going to destroy it and show you, hey, this is how I can pull I love it. it. Like the trekking pole test and mm -hmm. then the cooler. A lot of the gear that we use yeah. is on your store. It's mm -hmm. been sweet. So guys, if you're interested, it's 150 bucks, but you get $50 credit towards their Go Hunt store. Go check it out and thanks for watching.